Hey guys, Mabuhai, and welcome to Jay's Nest. Today we are going to talk about flat cloth diapers. I got a question today actually from someone who is new to the cloth community, hasn't tried cloth diapers before, and she said, What is a flat diaper? Because I recommended it. And I realized I don't even have a video for that. So <laughs> we're taking it down to the basics if you're new to cloth. Welcome. Welcome to the community. We love you here. We hope you stay. And I hope you learned something new from this video today. So flat diapers are one of my favorite diapers. No, not one of them. Are my favorite diaper. And I made a video about the 12 reasons why I love flat cloth diapers. I'll link them down below. Go check it out. So let's just hop right into it. A flat diaper can be a lot of things. Let me zoom you out. So a flat diaper is really just a square or a rectangle of fabric. It's a single layer and that's it. It could be a blanket for your baby. <laughs> it can be a bib for your toddler. So the most simple way to use a flat is fold that shit into a rectangle, baby. So we take it, we fold it in half, and then we fold it in half again. Kind of like you would fold a towel, but that's debatable depending on how you fold towels. Now this flat is a little wonky in dimensions, but now I just want to get it down into a rectangle shape. So we tri-fold it like that. And voila, this is what we call a pad fold. You can stuff this inside of a pocket diaper, stuff this bad boy right in this pocket, simple, or you can use it inside of a cover. You just take this, lay it inside of a cover, put it on your baby and you're good to go. Now there are some fancy folds you can do with your flats, but I ain't going to teach you that today because that's that's above my energy level. I, I'm going to be honest, that's above my energy level today, but I will, <laughs> I will link some videos down below of some awesome flat folds. We're getting into, I'm talking about origami stuff, okay, complicated, fold into a diaper, wrap around your baby, pin it on your baby. To be honest, you just fold that shit into a rectangle, keep it simple. But if you want to get fancy with it, if you want to get fancy with it, you can fold it into fun folds. I'll link them down below. That's the cool thing about flat diapers. I heard Lena's Life. Lena, if you're watching this, what up, girl? I heard Lena's Life talking about it, but flat diapers are like the most versatile diaper in the diapering system because you can make it into a bunch of different diapers. There are so many types of folds that you can do, which essentially is like a different type of diaper. Kind of. You know what I mean? Like you have one in an origami fold and one in a Pikmin fold and one in a diaper bag fold. There are just so many cool folds. The kite fold, the airplane fold. Flat diapers to me, they just don't get boring. And if you are tired of folding in those fancy folds, rectangle, rectangle, that's it. Very simple in a rectangle and you can't do the rectangle wrong. It can be wonky, it can be uneven, it doesn't matter. It just needs to be in like an insert type shape. So what's the difference between a flat and a pre-fold, okay? Well, a pre-fold is this. Here's one example of a pre-fold. This bad boy long. Maybe he long, that's a long one. Here's another prefold. He's short, baby. <laughs> this one's short and girthy. This one, this one is a buttons prefold that shrank way too much. But these are different because this one has like four layers of absorbency sewn in here, six layers in the center, and then four layers here. Let's zoom in. So if you look carefully, you'll actually see that it's sewn here. And it makes it really easy to just fold it along those lines. And now you got a pad fold and a pre-fold. They often call this a tri-fold, which is the same as a pad fold. So that's just a basic difference of what a flat diaper is and a pre-fold. A pre-fold just has lots of layers sewn into it. Typically, it's different for every brand and every size, but typically it's about six layers of fabric here and then four layers of fabric on the sides. And so it's, it's a bit thicker, a little bulkier. And then a flat diaper is just literally a square, sometimes a rectangle, depending on the dimensions of a single layer of fabric that you can fold however you want. But if you're like me, you try to keep your cloth diaper experience really simple and you just rectangles, 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 keep it simple. Now with flat diapers, a lot of things can be flat diapers. Here I have a flower sack towel. This is hand dyed. I actually bought this off of the swap page. I want it in a bid. <laughs> So this is something that you can get in the kitchen section from like Walmart or Target. I'm pretty sure I have some clips from the flats challenge from last year. I'll put them on the screen of when I went to Walmart and I just kind of show you in the kitchen section kind of what the flower sack towels look like as they're hanging on the shelf. You can absolutely use those as flat diapers, but 
if this is what you have access to, you can absolutely use this as a diaper. Now I'm gonna show you what my favorite budget-friendly repurposed flat diaper is, and that is a receiving blanket. So receiving blankets, those are those big old baby blankets, right? That you get at like baby showers. Even in the hospital when you have a baby, they have those baby blankets there with like the pink and blue stripes on them. Those are receiving blankets, and those, those are my favorite repurposed flat diapers. But they're much more absorbent than flower sack towels and I find the material to be a lot sturdier. This material on flower sack towels for some reason is like really thin. I can see through this and it's scratchy as well. And I just prefer how receiving blankets feel. So if you have receiving blankets laying around your house or if you know people who have a plethora of them and they don't need them anymore. But here's my piece of advice for receiving blankets and please listen to this. There are receiving blankets out there that cost like $15 for four of them because of the print that's on them. Please do not buy that, okay? I would not pay more than $1 for a receiving blanket. Just, just be mindful, okay? Just be mindful of the price of the receiving blanket if you're buying new from the store. I personally would not spend or recommend you paying more than one, maybe $2 for a really, really large receiving blanket. That's a personal opinion, but I just, I would hate to see someone go spend three to four dollars per receiving blanket. And a lot of times if people are using receiving blankets, it's because they're trying to repurpose them. But yeah, if you're trying to use receiving blankets as flats, ask friends, ask family, put it into the uh, Facebook marketplace that you're in search of some receiving blankets. Maybe check your local thrift stores to see if they have them for cheap. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something new today. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll leave some videos in the description box of some of my videos and other YouTubers' videos who have done different flat folds and maybe you can learn something new. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.